Yo, YouTube, how's it going? Um, gonna attempt this super steep climb right here to a fire lookout at the peak. All I know, as you can see it from the valley, and this road is fucking balls steep. I didn't say balls deep. I said balls steep. Ugh. I'm seeing 15% grade already. I need to get this train in though. So yeah, I wasn't gonna do this today, but I tried to ride up uh, Lock Levin and couldn't find the way. Couldn't find the way around the creek. And this is right on the way down. And I've only done 15 miles today. So I might as well uh, check something else out. Whew. It's a good day for this because it's pretty cool. And this is not a ride you'd want to do in the heat. Because this is definitely a suffer ride right here. Yeah, in one of my videos, I said I suggested uh, people that are being lazy in life start up uh, mountain biking as a hobby. And I thought about that and why I didn't say road biking or gravel biking. <sighs> because you gotta be a special breed of human being to put yourself through the type of suffering that uh, road biking and mountain biking requires. This shit is 11.9 grade right here. And it is not for the faint of heart. That's for damn sure. But uh, for that certain type of person, this is enjoyable. Uh, believe it or not, I am enjoying myself right now. Oh, 13%. Yes, please. I feel like I'm almost to the top of this shit. I don't know. I don't even think I went a mile. Oh, pure suffering. And pure happiness. You know, road biking is not really fun, you know? We don't do this shit for fun. We do it for a challenge and pushing ourselves. And, uh, when your fitness gets really fucking strong, I wouldn't say it's fun, but it, it is really satisfying to be able to do stuff like this. I mean, there are fun aspects, like descending at 45 miles an hour down a mountain road. That's pretty damn fun. But that is not why we do it. Ugh, we're in that attraction. Made it to the fire lookout. That was a, that was a tough climb there, guys. Definitely the toughest climb I've ever done. I was seeing grades of 14%. Uh, I'd say the average was like nine. And one thing is for sure, this is gonna be a fast, cold descent right here. We, we are in the clouds right now.
gonna be full focus. Not being able to find a way around that creek, it's not all been a bust. As this was a fucking awesome climb, super re rewarding. Now, this is where the fun comes in. Keeping my tires on the ground for this, that's for sure. I say that because there was a little pop right there I could have jumped, but I needed to be able to break super fast right here. Damn, it's cold. Man, climbs like this are all in the head. I was having an internal battle the whole time and just turn around. No, you can do it. Just turn around. No, you got this. <laughs> I was just stopping here and there and uh, eating some snacks and stuff, trying to bring my heart rate down. And that made it a lot easier. On the way up here, I was talking to a local that passed by in a, in a Bronco and he said this trail right here to the left goes to Angeles Oaks and it looks like just the same type of terrain so I got me some uh, more gravel to explore this is the way we came up right here from the highway You don't want 
to come around these, one of these corners and see a, a guy off-roading. So I can go head on with him. Uh, even trying to take it easy, it's hard to slow down right now. Especially when it gets bumpy. Ow. I do got all the traction in the world though, man, on these, these uh, tires on this bike. They're not letting loose on this stuff. This is like perfect. Big doggies right here. How's it going, man? Yeah. Man, I got the clutch on on my derailleur. And I'm still dropping the chain. I don't know what's up with that. My hands. Oh, Jesus, my hands. All right, guys. That's going to be it for that uh, little gravel adventure. I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Maybe you'll like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah.